Yo guys, today I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be doing the Christmas question tag but I'm not going to be tagging anybody so it's like 20 questions with me um, but yes, yeah, so let's just go straight into this video, let's go so I, found these, I found these questions online so it's like the Christmas tag like I said earlier but basically I'm just going to be answering some of the questions so they're like Christmas related so I've got like screenshots of them on my phone so first one is, is this the first one? here's the first one what is your favourite Christmas film? now I've actually just filmed a video where I actually explained a few of my favourite Christmas films but probably my most favourite is Love Actually um, but I like all Christmas films really because they all make me feel really Christmassy and happy and yeah I like all of them really like I love watching them on telly so but probably Love Actually is probably my favourite number two have you ever had a white Christmas? well for most of you probably know I'm English which means I live in England and let's be honest I don't think I've ever had a white Christmas on the 17 years I've lived in England which is my life usually in England it tends to snow a lot more in January February time maybe but this year it's actually been quite surprising because we've already had quite a lot of snow not enough to like go sledging we've already it's already snowed quite a lot like the end of November beginning of December so I mean maybe th maybe this year's the one maybe we're gonna have a white Christmas this year who knows don't know but no I don't think I've had one so far it used to snow a lot more when I was younger where do I usually spend my holiday well I just spend it at home usually or at a family member's house it's not really don't usually do anything too exciting it's usually like Christmas dinner opening presents just a chilled sort of day but I sort of like that so I would love to go to somewhere like I don't know Austria or something for Christmas or Switzerland I think that would be so so amazing to go to Switzerland for Christmas but um, I mean it's a bit difficult because it's like your whole family you kind of it's kind of like a family time so you can't really unless you've got the money to take the whole family where you kind of can't not to have a big family but you know favourite Christmas song that's kind of hard because there's loads. Well, I feel like that's kind of that's a hard one. But it's kind of I like to sing like a White Christmas. No, is it Winter Wonderland? Walking in Winter Wonderland, which I covered last year. I love all Christmas songs really. I mean, I feel like of the one I listen to the most. I don't really know. Maybe it's Mariah Carey or Old Christmas. I feel like that's just one that I sort of you can sort of have a bit of fun with when you're messing around, like singing it. You sort of good karaoke song. Do you open any Christmas presents on Christmas Eve? Um, when I was younger, I always used to open one present, like a smaller present, not not like a main present, but like a smaller present the night before from the tree I used to get to pick. Um, and I don't do it so much now because it was the fact that I was like too excited to wait, so I wanted to open one. So my parents would often allow me and my sister to open one on Christmas Eve. But I feel like when I have children, I want to do them like Christmas Eve like parcels, so they can have like um, a DVD and like a onesie and stuff in. But I don't know. But I, um, I yeah. So I have open presents on Christmas Eve. Can I name all of Santa's reindeers? Right, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer. Rudolph. Um, there's eight, isn't there? Oh dear. Mm. 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 Is it Vixen? Donna? I don't know anywhere that I don't know how many that was. Um, what traditions am I looking forward to most this year? So I don't really. I don't have any massive traditions like I get up, open my stocking usually first, then I go back to bed or chill in pyjamas for most of the day and then my parents have got up we usually just open some presents and the family comes round. I don't really have like, I don't know really, I don't really know, I'm, I'm looking forward to all of it, I'm not really looking forward to like a certain part of it. Is my Christmas tree real or fake? Well this one here in the background is actually fake because it's the one I have every year which means it can't be real because um, it hasn't grown obviously it hasn't been outside. Our main Christmas tree in the lounge we sort of swap each year so sometimes we have a real, sometimes we have a, like an artificial one. So this year we're actually having a real which is why I haven't, I couldn't decorate it and have it until like Tuesday the like 13th or 14th of December or something. Alright next one. What is your favourite holiday food sweet treat? Hmm, mm, that's hard. I feel like chocolate is probably, and like candy canes, good old candy canes. 
I don't really have like, I don't know, I just chocolate. I like chocolate all year round, but chocolate's even more nicer because, <laughs> and you get so much, you just got chocolate and biscuits. Um, but I like, I like turkey apart from something that's a bit dry. Do I like giving gifts or receiving gifts better? Um, okay, well, I'm gonna be honest. I, I like giving gifts if I'm really happy with the pre and I, if I'm happy with the present I've got the person so if I'm like really excited and I'm, I know they're going to absolutely love the present then I'm excited to give it to them because I know how much they'll be happy with it but if I don't really think I know the person well enough and I don't really think the present is very special then it doesn't make me very excited to give them because I don't know how happy they're going to be with it does that make sense? I think it sort of does so I love giving but I also love receiving and I think it does everybody, everyone loves, it's so nice to receive presents at Christmas isn't it, so um, kind of a bit of both, I love I love both, I like giving and I like receiving, so um, best Christmas gift you've ever received, I can't really think of, I, all the gifts I've like, ever received are absolutely like, I'm so lucky for what I have, so I, I don't really have like a main one because I've had bikes, I've had cameras, I've had phones, do you have a phone yet? Mm. Yeah, I've had like I've, I've been so lucky. I've had my studio light. I've had like iPods. I've had you know like and all the little stuff. I've had candles. I've had um, what else did I have? I can't remember everything. But all the presents I've received, I absolutely love and I'm very grateful for. So I don't have like one main thing. And my MacBook, like and driving lessons, like absolutely insane presents even the small things but yeah they're just some of the big things that i've received that are like amazing am i a pro present wrapper or do i fail miserably well um mm, i'm just looking at my presents for my friends over there well let's be honest i'm not a bad wrapper when things are easy to wrap like chocolate or anything is easy to wrap but the things I got my pre friends this year are like the most complicated things to wrap like little things and that so to be fair it sort of depends what the present is if it's simple to wrap up yeah no problem if it's not very if it's like a difficult shape then I'm all for wrapping what makes the holiday special for me well because obviously I used to be at school it used to be exciting because you have time off um, like more me time and seeing my friends and family um, now because obviously I'm only at college three days a week I think I kind of feel like I'm always off but I think probably what makes it um, special is just being with family and friends and doing Christmassy things like ice skating and that really I think that's what makes it special just being with family friends and all the Christmas decorations um, when do you start getting excited? I don't know how many questions I'm on now, I'm just going to do a few more. Um, when do you start getting excited for Christmas? Well, I think I start probably getting excited for Christmas when our main Christmas tree is up, which it isn't currently, as I film this. And um, probably my last week of college, which is this coming week, because then I'm like, oh my gosh, I've finished Christmas, I'm on my Christmas break. Even though it's like a week and a half, two weeks before Christmas, I'd be like, oh my gosh, it's not long till Christmas. And doing like Vlogmas and that, I feel like... So I feel like maybe the 10th to the 15th of December is when I start to get like excited. But then I don't get, from there, I get a bit excited, but then I don't get really excited until like a couple of days before Christmas. I'm like, oh my gosh, Christmas. What is the worst present you've ever received? Um, probably, uh, when I, me and my sister were younger, my uncle used to do me and my sister these massive like Santa bag things and they were legit about this this high, like they were massive. And he always used to, because obviously he wouldn't just get us all like perfect gifts, you know, he would get like joke gifts and it always used to make me laugh because I always used to get like a pot of baked beans or um, some tin food or something and it's not the worst present because it's just it's a joke present but I have always found it really really funny so that's probably the worst present I've received but it's not like I, I didn't like it like I mean I don't even think I like beans at the time but I do now but um yes that was probably the worst one but then it was a joke present so I love joke presents you know do you do you make new year's resolutions and do you stick to them um, well yeah, I, I'd i like to actually start going to the gym rather than doing my exercise at home and I'd like to hopefully pass my driving test in the following year, in the coming year. Um, I'd like to, I don't really know what else I'd like to do, I don't really know about my New Year's resolutions yet, but usually if I do say them I do stick to them, like, 
like previous years it's been like to lose weight and I have lost like four stones so I do say I stick to my New Year's resolutions, I'd say, yeah. So that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I've actually kind of enjoyed filming it because it's been quite a chatty and, like, you've learned a bit about me, maybe, video. But, um, yeah, I've really enjoyed filming it. So if you like this video, then please give a big, big thumbs up. And I shall see you in my next video, which will probably be tomorrow. So let's go. Bye. Thanks for watching.